And now to this week's Washington Unplugged Under 40 when we check in on what some of the younger folks in Washington are doing. And with that story is Katie Hartung. Katie, what do you have for us today? Thanks, Bob. Justin Fishkin has always had a passion for music. He even started an indie record label when he was still in college. Well, he spent a couple years on Wall Street and now he's back here in Washington in his hometown and he's found a way to channel that passion. It's called The Holster Project. Take a look. I've always wanted to um, work through the arts to make a difference. Part of what The Holster Project is, is doing is bringing well-known artists to Washington who are uh, very passionate about a cause and surrounding them with those young people in Washington that can actually affect that issue and having a dialogue about it, uh, engaging about it, and actually making a call to action. The Holster Project's first collaboration with Hard Rock International brought Grammy-winning artist and breast cancer survivor Melissa Etheridge to Washington. The event was part of Hard Rock's month-long Pinktober campaign. I love coming here to D.C. because you know, healthcare has been on, on the top, of every, on everyone's mind. And I love that finally in this country we're actually having you know, discourse about it, we're, we're talking about it. Etheridge led a discussion with breast cancer survivors, in, in a, in a researchers, and Hill staffers and about how they can make a difference. That was, that was very uh, enlightening for me. After the conversation, the she field. performed a song from her new album and sang and a few lines truth. from I Run For Life, a and song she wrote in honor of real. breast cancer survivors. And I run for your mother, your sister, your daughter, your wife, and I run for you. When all you seem to hear out of Washington is partisan bickering, Justin says this is the right time to engage young people. I think our demographic is, is ready to be engaged and, and ready to start uh, working together to, to solve issues that are borderless and human. Uh, and not just about one geography, uh, one race, one nationality. What's been the toughest part about bringing all of these different moving parts together? Uh, it's just the time. Um, you know, this is something right now I'm doing on the side. And, and so you have a day job. This I is do. This is a, an I extracurricular do. activity. I do. Um, but uh, this, is, this is my passion. Justin uh, says the Holster Project is a labor of love, but it's his job at a financial services firm that pays the bills. That exist. This hard rock event was a coming out party of sorts wrong. for the Holster Project, and Justin says the sky's the limit. Um, do you guys ever worry that you're you're thinking too big? You know, you're saying a different issue every event. Um, is there any thought to, to focus in on? Not at the moment, because uh, we, I don't really know what too big is. It's, it's people care about an issue and they're willing to come to an event like this and there's an artist that wants to donate their time and their creative capacity and discuss something they've been through. A lot of what happens in this town is arguing. So there's not too big as long as people want to discuss solutions. The concept of bringing the creative arts and politics together is not a new one, but Justin is doing it in a new way with a new generation. I've always had dreams of, of having this type of dialogue, but no, I didn't think that we'd actually get it off the ground. The Holster Project is working on planning its next event with the Cross-Border Irish Children's Orchestra. So, what's next for this group? I'm taking suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Unplugged Under 40, you can uh, send me a message on Twitter, at Unplug Under 40, if you have any suggestions for young people in Washington doing interesting things. All right. Thank you very much, thanks, Kaylee. Bob. It's a good story. Well, thanks for watching uh, Washington Unplugged over and under 40. I'm Bob Schieffer. Make sure to watch us on TV Sunday when I interview the National Security Advisor, General James Jones, Senator Carl Levin, the Chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, and Ike Skelton, the Chairman of the House Armed Services Committee. We'll also talk to General Anthony Zenni, who was at one time uh, overseeing the war effort out in Afghanistan. All that on Face the Nation Sunday. See you then.